Hello everyone, welcome to GS Booster Short, your daily dose for GS preparations. In our today's lecture, I am going to discuss with you the plastic waste management. So plastic waste management happens to be a major concern for the environment and which is why this is important for our GS perspectives. What has provided us the context for our today's discussion? So the context has been provided to us by a report of Niti Ayog and UNDP, the India, that is United Nations Development Program. In on a report launch career, rather I'd say a handbook to promote sustainable plastic management in the country. What does this handbook recommend? This handbook chiefly recommends that urban local bodies, which are our municipal corporations, hoti hai, should adopt MRF, that is material recovery facility under a PPV model for solid waste management that is material rec recovery facilities should be developed by urban local bodies in partnership with private players for solid waste management what is material recovery facility at the very first hand so it is also known as material reclamation facility or material recycling facility in actual terms, in these facilities, solid waste is collected and it is recycled in the manner that it can be further sold to private players. So, solid waste, basically, raw material is gathered out of this solid waste and it has been sold for making new products. So, let us first under see some of the important data with respect to plastic waste. So, recently, Ministry of housing and urban development has released a report in which it tells us that globally the average plastic that is consumed by per individual is 28 kgs whereas in india it is 11 kgs central pollution control board report of 2019 2020 states that in india we generate about 3.4 million metric ton of plastic waste every year so, let us see the scope of the problem in hand. Of all the solid waste that we are generating, basically 6 to 8 percent of the solid waste constitutes of plastic today. Now, the experts have raised certain concerns with respect to this data only and they have called or raised questions upon the reliability of the data because naturally there is a various uh, variation with respect to consumption of plastics per individual in different cities. People in urban centers would be consuming more plastic in comparison to what has been used in rural areas. Areas having inflow of tourists are going to be heavily using plastics in general. So, there is lack of data with respect to recyclers also as to the people who are actually recycling. It has been claimed that today 60% of the plastic is recycled 40 percent of the plastic is left out in wastage uh, is not at all recycled so as to who are these recyclers who are recycling this 60 percent of plastics they generally belong to informal sector apart from this various sort of plastics is mixed up which makes it difficult to segregate they are differing qualities of plastics out there out of which the most uh, degradable degraded plastic is the single use plastic now this very plastic is very mixed with different sorts of plastics uh, ranging from their complexity and their quality and which makes it different today uh, difficult today to segregate them now apart from this consumers are also poorly informed and motivated the social sensitivity towards plastic is different among different classes of people so plastic offers a cheap source of carrying so social sensitivity with respect to plastics is differing amongst different people that is also a cause of concern also there is a limit to use of recyclable plastic so once plastic is recycled its quality degrades it becomes more toxic and therefore there is a limit to an extent that we can recycle all the plastic now what are the ways to plastic management under swachh bharat mission 22 mrf that is the material recovery facilities have been established over 30 cities 
Under this very program, social inclusion also plays an important part in waste management process. Basically, the rag pickers who have till now been engaged in the informal sector, they are to be involved into these marginal recovery facilities and bought under the net of formal recycling of waste. MRF also serves a bridge between private companies and capacity creation in local bodies. So, for the success of local bodies or this very program, local bodies need to provide infrastructure and land to MRF. So, marginal recovery facilities ki agar success hum chaate hain. So, we have to engage in private companies because private companies are with the expertise of running such big facilities. In this very respect, local bodies need to provide infrastructure facilities to marginal recovery, facil uh, recovery facilities so that the private companies can be roped in into setting up more and more such marginal recovery facility. Now, the Niti Ayog's handbook that we have been talking about, we have made five deductions out of this handbook towards creation of a successful waste management program and what would be required for a successful waste management program. Number one, the process has to be socially inclusive. Now, a lot of informal sectors are engaged in waste management in the country. You cannot actually throw all that sort of people, all the, uh, all those people out of the this waste management uh, process. And therefore, whatever activity or whatever process is interrupted, these people who are already in this very sector of managing waste should be included in it. Infrastructure development, naturally, formal infrastructure needs to be developed such as the marginal recovery, uh, material recovery facilities. Then, existence of viable financial model. Now, if a viable financial model is not present as to how to run these material recovery facilities, how to basically remunerate these people who have been engaged to work in these facilities, no model can sustain over a longer period of time. Awareness model. Now, experts have pointed out that even if we have been able to create these recovery facilities, even if we have been able to recycle these uh, in the entire plastic that we are generating, still there is requirement of awareness creation amongst the people on a larger scale, on a mission scale rather, so that the production is only reduced. So, once there is less production, we will be having less of the waste to produce, uh, to segregate and recycle. There is no debate uh, on this very point that we have to reduce our production as well. Now, technology has to be used for tracking purposes. Now, whether the waste has been getting collected, how the waste is being recycled, where the waste has been disposed, technology needs to be roped in in this very process. Besides this, now waste management is a local subject and therefore region specific solutions will be uh, the most successful while catering to success of any waste management solution and therefore various uh, urban local bodies need to come up with uh, solutions which are locally viable and are more convenient in their local respect and only then a successful resolution of this very problem, the problem of plastic waste management can be taken out. Besides this, the plastic waste management rules of 2016 and which were further recommended in 2018. Now the ministry has laid down uh, a new notification for the consideration of the people with respect to the same that is extending the responsibility of the producers. Now it has been thought upon that producers a specific goals need to set up for large scale producers who are responsible for generation of plastic waste, waste for recycling of this very waste. So this is all with respect to plastic waste management and by successful adoption of these five points and towards creation of any model, this very feat can be achieved. 
Should you have any doubts with respect to the same, feel free to put those doubts in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to reply to them. By this, we have covered up an important discussion of the perspective uh, debates on the Sansat TV. These debates are very helpful towards picking up important topics of national and international news which can be relevant for our examination preparation. Thank you and have a nice day.